your jacket. Huh? What's good, people? Good morning. Happy Saturday morning. Yes. Look at us. We're dressed to the nines here. Um, Merry April Fools, too. Can you think of a better way to spend April Fools than by going to the Magic Castle? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Yeah. We are going to the Magic Castle this morning with uh, Cynthia's brother and his fiance, which is exciting. That's like a, I get to cross that off the bucket list. Always wanted to go to the Magic Castle. And now we are on April Fool's Day. Yeah, Pretty good. That's great. Yeah, so we're walking to their house and then we're gonna head out. Go watch some magic. And now that I've said that it's April Fool's Day, I'm just slightly hesitant that this might all just be fake. <laughs> <laughs> That's something no. Eddie would do. He would fool me like this. No. To be like, hey guys, you wanna come to the Magic Castle with us? And then be like, psych! No, but they were, oh. <laughs> <laughs> See? We'll see. No. <laughs> Well, it wasn't a practical joke, so that's nice. Eddie wasn't a screamer. How do you get a person like that? Why didn't you tell us? So we can't take any photos or videos inside, so you want violet? Violet colored shirt on. Alright, so now once you go and then he asked you for another number, he picked three, so he put that number in the number three spot. Oh yeah. And then when Easy counted it out, he said take the third one, and that was the number. Cynthia's telling us how she figured out one of the tricks. Easy peasy. Wow. Easy peasy. You should be a magician. I really should be. Did you have fun at the Magic Castle? Yes. So much fun. Now I'm gonna look up all their tricks and I'm gonna perform them for you guys later. So <laughs> stay tuned. Look at our flower. So small. And where did all the red go? Oh, yeah. It was red. It was yes. like orange and red. I saw it. Oh, you picked it. It's there's some over here. Purple. Yes. Oh, perp. So that was really a lot of fun. If you ever get the opportunity or get invited to go to the Magic Castle, I highly suggest you do it. And we did their brunch, which I guess is like much more low key and like family friendly. I don't know if like the nighttime stuff is. Uh, it's just more adult. I don't think there's any kids. Oh, you can just. Oh, look at that magic! Whoa! <laughs> Holding the camera. Um, look at. Oh, let's. What did we get? Yeah, let's see what we got here. So I couldn't. No, nah, it was too much fun to not get something. So I got my so a deck of uh, Academy Magical Arts cards, bicycle cards. So I'm gonna really try and learn some cool tricks. And then a nice boozy. You can't see that? No. Anyways, it's got the logo on it from the Magic Castle. And then that fancy ass bottle of water. So yeah, that was really fun. Not magic in like every room. We saw some like junior magicians, like some 14 year old magician who's really good and pretty good for his age. I mean Better than get? me. Oh yeah, it was part of a trick. Let me explain this. So he threw this ball of paper at some kid. And then like three tricks later, and then like it was nothing. It was like part of part of not part of the act anymore. And then he asked me to pick ten of these like raffle tickets out. Or I named, gave him a number, he picked that many, and then he said, pick another number, I picked that number. I count. I went up on stage, I counted the second number, which was three, and then I picked this card. Can you see it? So I picked that ticket well. with that number, and then the kid who, like, had the this piece of paper from, like, three tricks ago, he was like, okay, I need this piece of paper. Oh, I think I just fucking ripped it. And it's the exact same number from my raffle ticket. 
It's like he wrote this down before the show started, not knowing what number I was going to pick a raffle tickets, and it's the same number. So I got to keep this. It's my souvenir, my magic souvenir. I was a part of a trick. I've never been a part of a magic trick before. And, and I got his autograph. What a loser. <laughs> I mean, he was cool. And maybe one day when Zach something or other is a famous magician, I'll have his autograph. So that's it. Went to the Magic Castle. Bucket. That was something on my bucket list. Really enjoyed going. I would definitely go back again. So now we're home, and I don't know what we're gonna do. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Movie? Nap? What? Nap. Disney. Oh, that's right. Somebody wants to go to Disneyland, even though she knew it was crowded. Yesterday and Saturdays are even worse. We'll see. We'll see what the wait times are. That gives us a good indicator of what the park's gonna be like. So, do you have a magician's name? No. You're just. I just don't. I haven't thought about it. Cynthia the magician. Let's go. All right. Regular deck of cards. Yes. It seems regular. Correct. Cool. All right. Go ahead and pick a card. Not that one. Not that one. <laughs> okay. You got it? Yes. Alright. Tell me when to stop. Okay, go ahead and put it in there. Thank you. Okay. Alright. So. <laughs> Is it a black card? Yes. Alright. So it's a black card. Sure is. Is it a low number? <laughs> it is. Okay. So, I'm going to just shuffle. Oh, that didn't go too well. That wasn't a great shuffle. Not great. That's okay. Please cut the deck in half. Okay. Thank you. No problem. And oh. one more time. Okay. All right. Now. Um, let's cut it in half again. Oh boy. Okay, thank you. No problem. All right. So, perfect. Please pick a row. This row. That row. All right. And please pick one card. Thank you. And one more card. All right. So, what was your card? It was a four. Four of... Of spades. Four of spades. All right. Now, before I turn this over... Yeah? What are you going to give me if this is a four <laughs> of spades? Um, maybe one of your birthday gifts early. How about a kiss? Okay, a kiss is good. Okay. <laughs> Four of spades. Ready for this? I am. It's not a spade. Are club. You... <laughs> I think it was a club. I had to look at the video. <laughs> I, think it's a, I think that might be right. <laughs> what was it, guys? Was it <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let's see. Let's see. It was a four of clubs. It was a four of clubs. She did a good magic trick. Good it's magic. more one more magic trick than I know. Good job, baby. Thank you. That was very impressive. I you know. should go to the magic castle. I could do it. Yeah. If you're watching, I'm available. That was her audition. Four of clubs. The audience just has to know what card it was. <laughs> so thanks to our new neighbors who try all the food in their area. We're trying out Borrego's Tacos. We have not. I've lived in this area pretty much my whole life. I've never been to this place before, but that's why I'm grateful for Eddie and Cynthia because they try out all the food places and then tell us about it. So we're gonna we're gonna dig right in and watch them shameless.